Okay, the battery's flashing, so I don't know how much time I have. Let's see what I can create with this. Let's finally get back to this. Uh, I don't know if I want them guys or a different uh, I've got decisions to make and I can't decide so I could either do this or I could Do this kind of idea. If I wanted to, I could do more than one, and but I'd have to make another one of these, and I don't re not really in the mood to make this this part uh, because that involves a lot of drawing time and stuff so for now i'm just going to work with this one and if i really want the other ideas i have i will uh, make another base but that one will well maybe it will actually i have a different idea hold on okay that kind of works i just put a mirror up there to see that would help me see what you see and it does help a little bit okay so I mean it's not perfect but figure out what is half of this it doesn't have to be perfect but let's see wrong end almost 20 so let's put it at 10 ish so let's put it there And that can be feet or legs and the, oh if I had bendy straws that would be even better I wonder if I do because bendy straws would make him some knees hmm I don't though hmm. well wow, I was way off there's a big difference there And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but okay. Okay, I don't think I do have bendy straws. So for this guy, it's okay. And then I will make a smaller. Piece. Come on, cut. Thank you. Put that aside for now. Now, I want it to be tapered. And this is going to be covered up, so it's okay to just use tape to hold it. Well, I still want to do a little bit neater job than that, probably, but anyway, that's okay. It'll be good enough. Okay, and then do the same thing. It's a bit neater, but it's going to be covered up, so it's okay. 
Okay, I'm going to make bigger holes there with my pokey tool. Yeah, okay, that's going to be good enough. Okay. And I think I've decided to do this, which means I will save this for a different a different monster dude or friendly alien or whatever. And I think this guy has blue eyes, so tend to do that but most of the eyes I do most of the time they are blue I just like it I guess I think you've seen me do this before these are just tiny styrofoam balls by the way I'm sure you figured that out because you're smart but anyway Start with that. Maybe he has two different color eyes. Nah, not this guy. Maybe another one. I I I think I probably will end up making more than one because I have ideas and as I'm making this guy more ideas come and it's harder and harder to make the decisions so probably will end up making more if I do I will show you but probably not the process because it's basically the same things just different accessories or whatever So he's got giant eyeballs. Let's see, is this different enough? Not really, okay. These are just Sharpie markers, by the way. Okay, I'm going to just go around that with this darker bluish grayish color. Oops, try to avoid doing that too much. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think I've already said that a few times. So I was about to say that the battery's hanging pretty, I mean, longer than I expected it to, but now that I've said that, it's probably going to conk out any second now. Okay, and now I'm just making lines. Okay, um, I think, this is strange, but I think I'm going to make a few purple lines in there. You can't really tell that it's purple, but I'm going to do it anyway.
Okay. A dot or two here and there. And then some black. glossy accents and that's going to have to dry. Do I want to... No, I don't. I was going to say, do I want to put the catch light with the white gel pen, but this is going to make it shiny, so It'll have it natural catch lights, so it doesn't need it. Okay. Don't think that I need to cover the whole ball because... Um, I'm going to cover some of that. See? Natural catch light. When it's dry, it's not going to be quite that noticeable, but it'll still be okay. Now I need to find something to put that into dry. Uh, be right back. Okay, actually... I've changed my mind. I'm going to actually, hmm, which way? I'm going to add some of that stuff. Okay, so uh, the battery died. Just as I was about to explain something. Oh. Okay. Now, I can get that without making too big of a mess. That's not too bad. Okay, so... Um, I probably don't have enough of this stuff, but I'm going to do this anyway. Okay, so I need... Come on. I'm almost out. the seam of this to be on the bottom because that's not going to be seen. If I had fake eyelashes, I could add those. That might be kind of adorable. Depends on how elaborate you want to get with this critter. Okay. Now cut off some of this excess. Maybe use my 
pokey tool to help first. Okay, this is not an easy process and it could be dangerous. So you might want to get an adult to help you with this if you're not an adult. Now, to make it look even more realistic or whatever, you might want to leave you might want to make the iris a little bit smaller so that you're you have some white showing white of the eyeball okay I might not be able to <laughs> yeah okay that'll do And then some of this will be covered up too, so it doesn't have to be really good, but I want it to be a little bit better than it is. Okay, so show a little bit of the white of the eye okay so my fingers got all gluey messy and so that means plus it went through a little bit so that means that this is messy but it's okay it's it's gonna be okay. Now this doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to want to put this part on before covering the eye part, the uh, iris part on the next one. This just does not want to cooperate with me. I think I'm going to need to get the hot glue out. Okay, while the glue is heating up, I'm going to try and cover this guy. White showing this time. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, this one's cooperating a lot better. Okay, now, see how much of this it'll let me cover back here. Need the hot glue for that one too, apparently. Are you ready yet? Yep. Okay. Like I said, this part's going to be mostly covered, so I guess it's okay that it's giving me this much trouble. Is it going to melt if I put you on there? I guess you're okay. Okay. There's got to be a better way to do it, but <laughs> but I don't know it. But that'll do good enough. And put some of this on so it can dry. You go there for now. And you... Oops. Good thing I had the finger protector and that would have been really bad. Really painful. Okay. I'm going to say that's good enough and set you aside to dry over here. Okay, now put that outside. Now, I have somewhere, I have some special something. I don't even know what it is, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use this instead to make the furry part. If I can figure out where the... There it is. Okay. Oh, uh, but I should do a different part first. Let's see. Would a Sharpie do it good enough? Or do I need to break out the paint? I think paint. I'll be right back. Okay, so... I do want to use paint, but just so that it's consistent and looks the same, I'm going to put some of this Sharpie down first. And while I was trying to open my tube of paint here, I had an idea. If you don't have glossy accents or something like it, and you want to do something like this, you could try covering your styrofoam ball with plastic wrap instead, and it should probably do the same thing. Okay, so this ball is big, but just to... Well, I guess I need to put something on it for you to see.
So you put it on and make it as tight as possible and you have a less messy version and it works. This might actually and then you have something to hang on to and if you color this bit red or something you can have a Halloween eyeball if you make yeah those, I, I might do this later I'll I'll revisit this later um, I suppose I could do it right now but trying to get this <laughs> this guy done uh, but yeah that works in my opinion anyway you just want to try and get it as smooth as possible um, and there you go see natural catch light and everything so hmm. there you go okay now paint I would like for it to not be necessarily red so I chose burnt Something's tickling. Oh, it's a hot glue strand. Okay. Uh, so I chose burnt sienna for the inside here. Uh, so it's sort of red, but it's kind of brown too or something and with the sharpie underlay it's it's good okay now not really going to see it, but I'm going to do just a little outline here. Like I said before, you can go as detailed or simple as you want with these critters okay so um still got that glue thing bugging me and i should let that dry but get most of that gone and then use this oh i should shake it first much and this is uh, what is that that's crafters acrylic deco art Christmas red for a, a tongue where do I want the tongue right here yep right there I'm going to do another coat on this part. Should wait for it to dry probably, but... Okay, and, and now I want it textured. You probably can't see. Okay, this is subtle. So I'm just basically bouncing, pouncing with the tip of my small brush. Lighting issues as usual. 
Okay, I'm gonna let that dry before doing the next step. this for now yes I'm gonna go wash my brush and I'll uh, be back. I'm gonna do something similar that I did here but just a little bit just so I have something easier to poke through here on both of the legs Probably not. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be good enough. Okay, so let's test that out. Put it in the middle ish, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe I don't even need the pokey tool. Okay. That'll do. Get in. thinking I might need hot glue for that but I might not need it okay now he's not gonna want to stand on his own like that of course see my marks because it's a light issue glare thing that's good enough they don't have to be identical okay now help and maybe I better slit there too just to make it easier make thinner ankles Mexico. 
Now let's use this to make this wider. Let's make you smidge smaller. Like I said, it don't have to be identical. Okay, you're still top heavy. What am I going to use? I need some rocks or something. I'll figure that out later. Yeah, he's not going to stand on his own like that. Okay, so it makes sense because this is pretty top heavy. I put more cardboard just on this part. Does it help? Probably not because... This cardboard isn't really heavy. It does help with the look of it though. Hmm. Okay, I'll figure that out later. That's dry enough. Colored pencil, Tuscan red. Probably needs to be sharpened, but this is mostly just shading. Battery! <sighs> Batteries just don't last long and it drives me nuts. Anyway, okay, more. Texture, just making spots, basically. You know what, maybe I should make it with something else. Maybe we should make it 3D. Because I'm not really happy with that tone. So, what I'm going to do is find a piece of something. piece of uh, box. Okay, so I'm just cut a shape at random. I suppose I could paint it, but I'm too lazy to go get my paints again. So let's start with Sharpie Red. And the this needs sharpening. Uh, the Tuscan red. Just making some tiny. They're almost like C's, like a C shape only. Very tiny. A cross between a dot and a C or something. I don't know. Okay.
blush pink and do the same thing in some areas, not throughout the whole thing. And then white, just a little bit here and there. Okay, and then I'm going to, oh man, the back. Um, I'm going to just fold it. And the back, I'm just going to use Sharpie and hope for the best. Even though that's not really going to work very good. I suppose I could cover it with something else. A piece of paper. I guess I'll do it. I'm trying to get this done, but I keep wanting to get fancy or I'm having a hard time with that. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be okay. you glue stick just a regular piece of scrap paper usually glue sticks aren't enough but especially for something like this but uh, the next step will deal with that so it's okay Well, not the exact next step, because the next step is to put color to what I just covered it up with. And I'm not even going to use the Sharpie. I'm just going to do the Tuscan Red and leave it as that. I mean, I could get technical and make it look like it's got the whatever you call that, the veins or whatever, <laughs> but I'm not going to, except for just, you know, like that, just making lines. Okay, that'll do. Uh, packing tape, and again, you could probably use the uh, plastic wrap method for this but packing tape is just easier in my opinion Not going to be too particular about making it perfect edges, and then just kind of shape it. Going to Fold it in the middle, unfold it, and then kind of do that, and then glue it there. But right, okay. Easier on ourselves and put the packing. 
packing tape on first. Yeah, packing tape on first because this doesn't really need... Unless you wanted him to have like yellow teeth or something like that. And I only need to cover one side this time because the other side won't show. Okay. that too big? Yeah, that's too big. So I'm just going to cut this one in half. There we go. So now I have two of them. So these are teeth, in case you hadn't figured that out, but you're smart, so you probably did. One more tooth. This one's a little bit bigger and longer. Now you can make them pointy teeth, you can make them whichever way you like and I should have made them made one side pointy to make it easier to shove it in there but should be okay I think the paint wasn't quite dry right there so he's got dirty teeth okay I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge ah that's more than a little bit and try to make sure that I have the shiny side the taped side facing me and the the glue once it's dry will look like the gum so I'll be able to uh, color it with sharpie or something prepare that one. That's good enough. Now where'd the other tooth go? There it is. Okay, let's prepare this one to make it easier on our sails. Do I want it here? Yeah. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and he's losing his foot. Don't 
tongue. Probably should have left the tongue for last, but this is good enough. I mean, this is okay. We will manage. Put some here to kind of be the under tongue th part thing. I know I'm not making any sense. Okay. And I'm going to kind of hold it like this for a few seconds till the glue is set a little bit. So we'll be back. Okay, next up, I'm basically, I'm just going to cover him up with this stuff. Now, I'm wondering if I should do, I probably should. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, glue in there. Shove that back in. even though hot glue doesn't really do that but for stuff like this it, it, it's good okay then I'm going to put some hot glue and I'm wearing my finger protectors here and just wrap this around Okay, and I want this top part to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to put some more and another layer, another layer or two. Okay, that'll do. Okay, that's working out a bit easier than I expected.